look absolutely stunning here on Gaw TV. That's right. That's a hashtag. Make sure you're following. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we whoa. And a party <laughs> trick. Whoa, whoa, we whoa. Click that bell icon so you never miss an episode. And make sure that you subscribe today because, hey, who doesn't want to come out and hang out with us? I Seriously. know. Every right. Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. And hello to our chat members down here in the chat room. We see you. We love you. Yes. And hey, hey, let's everyone. do the wave. Let's do the wave. Let's do the wave. Ready? It's like a virtual back, wave. Please, Hi, please. everyone. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. <laughs> we're, we're a global wave at this point, and we have global fabulous followers here on YouTube. As Mickey said, subscribe. Also, give us that little like ski. We appreciate that very oh, much. Don't forget the thumbs. Don't forget those thumbs. You got to do it. You got to listen. You just just like it now because we can guarantee you're going to love this episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you think this is fun, guess what? You get the full unfiltered version of this episode on patreon.com slash TV. And you get to be a part of our Zoom after parties right after this show ends at 6 p.m. Eastern top of the hour. We're going to be at our live Zoom after parties complete with dance parties and cheers with all of us on camera at the end. It's a lot of fun. And we have to say a huge shout out to all of our fans here, all of our subscribers, but especially to those who support us on Patreon. Absolutely, absolutely. Top top of the hour to you. Top of the hour to you, <laughs> And don't forget, you guys, to download our Godcast podcast, transferred by Ella J, a wrestling gal. You need to follow her right now, right now. Right but now. you get the unfiltered version of like everything. Everything has been edited out for our YouTube channel. You get it full version, juicy. full version, and you get juicy, very juicy. All the juicy like our- details. I like juicy too. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> Speaking of our Patreon top tier, we got to give a huge shout out to them who get an exclusive top tier gift signed merchandise from all three of us. That would be William, Thorsten, Aaron, Remy, Anthony, Mickey, D, and George. Well, Georgie. 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 Oh yes. my God. And they also like, you know, being a Patreon member, they get a discount on our Teespring store. That's oh, good. Right. What, yeah. what, what? what? Speaking, of, speaking of discounts for all you fitness freaks out there, huge shout out to our legacysubs.com for legacy. You can get a, uh, your discount there by using code. Guess what code, guys? Come on. G- what is it? A W. Go. Come on, make it easy. Come on. Easy. Who, who came up with that brilliance? Come on now. Yeah. We did. Just the three of us. I thought, I thought, I thought Mickey was just like, it's easy, bro. It's, it's easy, bro. Hey, it, it only took three of us to come up with that brilliant code. G-A-W. <laughs> yeah. I was Dude, like, like, we should use soft, the G. And then Mickey and if was you're like, not what downloading that, <laughs> what I, I think a W. You. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Let and her, if you right? haven't downloaded the Gaw theme song, of our God TV show by Mickey James and Chapel Hart. Um, oh my God, addicting, dude, addicting. I know. I am first to admit, I can't, I can't stop listening to it. I played it in the car. We were driving. Alan uh, and I were, were blaring it all over beautiful, exotic Milton Keynes here in England. It's a global ph- uh, phenomenon. It is what we call our summer anthem. It is our lady anthem. It is so much fun, so powerful. And no thank doubt. you to Chapel Heart. They were on a previous episode of the show. So if you're new to the show, you can go back and watch that episode with Chapel Heart. And Lisa, that's actually the perfect segue because we're getting very musical here on Gaw TV because our guest yeah. today does not only have a wrestling connection, of course, listen, we're all from wrestling. We know a lot of people from wrestling, but this is actually someone who has uh, a very cool career going on as an amazing DJ all over the world. And Nick Hogan is here to discuss his new single. So ladies, shall we? You shall. Nick Hogan. Yes. yes. Welcome to the show, Nick Hogan. Let's bring him in. Yes. Yay. Oh my God. So like, let us start off with the show. We always start off what are you wearing and what are you drinking? What are we wearing? What are we drinking? Well, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't expect to um, be put on the spot, but I've got a lovely can of liquid death here. It's water 
but wow. it's badass water. Oh, okay. So it's it's called Liquid Death, and it's, the whole theme is murder your thirst. So that's cool. And uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, for I know water is not supposed to taste like anything, but it actually is good tasting water. So that's cool. And then does it have caffeine in it, um, Nick? Does no, it have caffeine no or anything? Caffeine. Okay. Other than that, I pretty much just have on all black. There you go. In very Skinner fashion. Hope. Everybody's very fashion. special color. Yeah, yeah. As you guys, have, you guys, there's. I see this the leopard print. Let's see what's. I, I'm sorry, I don't have leopard print. I'm not. Hey, you, you know, know what? Sometimes we do have a theme, print. but we were like, we don't want to give them the leopard print theme. That's that's pretty specific. <laughs> but uh, I will tell you, I'm drinking a lovely rosé. I'm all the way in England, and it's actually shockingly hot here. So there was ice in here about 2.5 seconds ago. It's gone. Uh, I've got my lovely leopard on from a, a, it was a happy birthday present belated from one of my girlfriends from a boutique here. And I've got my God TV pillow that's available in our God TV to store. So check that description, everybody, and get your gear to represent. But we want to go to our other guest of honor. What are you drinking and uh, who are you wearing today? You look fabulous. Thank you. I am wearing an NM Music shirt for my company. And I am also drinking water, unfortunately. All the wow. We got I said, do you guys, did you guys both not drink alcohol? Because we did. We should have asked that first. No, I, I drink alcohol. I, I do. I okay. actually am. I'm on a whole thing right now. My girlfriend, she's like, she's loves drinking beer. She's like, she, you know, hard liquor. It's just like, she's she taps after two shots that's it so i like, think <laughs> beer she she can hang a little bit longer with beer so i made the mistake recently of showing her natty ice which is like a little bit stronger than like regular beer so she's been on like a natty ice cake for oh. like the past two or three days like <laughs> having a couple of natty ices here so we <clears throat> we drank natty ice last night i see one of those well, i didn't I'm know sure. natty ice was higher you guys in alcohol <laughs> it's not what we used to drink back in the day like I the twenty-four pack. Throat. I thought it was. Yeah, they have like a. That's true. Like that's true. For like eight dollars, it's ridiculous. Exactly. We love a bargain here. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Girls on yeah, a budget. Five point nine percent alcohol. Oh. I guess oh, like, nine. regular beer is like four percent or something. Yeah. I'm drinking yeah, yeah, yeah. Alaska, which is also zero percent alcohol. So I'm not judging over here. Ah, uh, okay. Sure. Cool. That's okay. And I'm wearing Cheers all black to too. It's like we planned it to be together. Look. Oh, at least yeah. somebody's coordinated. Yeah. 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 The girl power t-shirt for our friend Ella J. That's her t-shirt. So, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Ella J. Uh, I, it, you know what? It's, 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 it's down to you and me, Val. Um, I'm, I'm drinking a little wine, a little, little, um, Cabernet. Um, your sister and I love Cabernet. Nick. Oh my gosh. I know. So, yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm, 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 I know. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. She used to, she used to <laughs> always drink. She goes, "Hey, let's go, let's go get some wine, like at TNA backstage." Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Go. Do you remember? Do you remember that? Oh my oh, god! I, and so, I, and also, we, have very very many earlier, we love Brooke so much. Very many. I love, her. I love her. I love her. She'll, she'll do that. She's like Brooke will like go somewhere and like she'll know she like she'll plan ahead. She's like the queen of planning ahead, and she'll like get somewhere and she'll be like, "Oh no, there's no bar," and then she'll be like, "Whoop." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Okay, Got cool. it. Brought it myself. Brought it myself. Yeah. And I'm so wearing. Usually, it comes out of her. She like, pulls it out of her shirt or her, like, in here or somewhere. Or her bracelet. Like Mickey had a bracelet that had the little flask in it. Oh, nice. Right, Mickey. It just looked yeah. like yeah. silver sculptural jewelry. We we're like, that's pretty, and she was like, uh huh. <laughs> So I got this. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, look at, see how it's blingy. There's too much light in my apartment. Oh, cute! Um, it's blingy. It's a can. It's, you, if you Google on Amazon, blingy canteen. Um, I did an independent show this weekend. Oh, um, just canteen. a signing. And yeah, a blingy canteen. Of course, <laughs> I put wine in it. I'm like, oh, I'm so dehydrated. What else would you put in it? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> exactly, blingy. exactly, exactly. And then my shirt is a. a Proud parent of a rescue. So I'm all about oh, the rescues, you guys. Yeah. Oh, awesome. mushy, mushy. For the yes. Tell us about the dog, then. You can't, you can't go on and tell us that and then not tell us about oh. the pup. Okay, uh, I have uh, two rescues, a uh, Chihuahua and a Chihuini. So Lovey and Sheldon. So oh. yeah, yeah, I've always rescued. Yeah, I've always rescued because there's so many homes. I, yeah. I'm Sometimes not going I feel like I agree. rescued my dogs from the place that bred them because <laughs> i'm like like even though they might have been taken care of there i think that i take much better care of my dogs than most people so i Aww. think you know and then yeah, I like, you know yeah, I, I joke better than those people if i'm honest so there you go yeah i don't like people 
dog breeders are the worst i think they take care like they don't like those heavy yeah. dog breeders and stuff the kennels and stuff yeah like I'm yeah, I said that the rest of my mom goes into like the kill shelters where they're going to have the, um, you know, like where the dogs are like going to get put down or something. And she'll take every dog on death row. <laughs> and she's like, oh. all of them. <laughs> put them Your in my mom truck. does? And she, yeah. And she takes them. She's got like 16 dogs. <laughs> like, we got to have her on and, and show the dogs <laughs> off. But you never know because you never oh know. My God. Want to adopt oh, my God. Oh, she would love it. Dogs. Yeah, we she's not getting she, rid of her dogs, though. They're all hers. Yeah, yeah, she's Linda, attached to Linda, all of them. Linda, Linda the Rescuer. We need to have a shirt that says Linda the Rescuer. Rescuer. Yeah, she, does, she does a lot of cool stuff. Where she did, I think she did this thing where she put on, like, an adoption. What are they? I don't know what they call it. Like, an adoption thing yeah. where, like, she went out there and, like, she, like, funded it. She put up the tents and, like, tried to help the dogs get adopted that were in the shelter and stuff. Oh, wow. So she's really, really, really involved with all the, you know, the rescue stuff. We love that. Oh my God. I don't know how she does not get attached to one because I wouldn't be able to get rid of them. That's why she has 16. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah, no she's, I mean, she, but she's like, she's like, doesn't discourage. She's like, I want the dog with three legs. I want the dog who can't walk. I want the blind one. She's like, give me all of them. Oh my God. I love that. So, oh, yeah. Totally. We were just discussing. Oh my. We were just discussing uh, some musical renderings of the Gaw TV song as Mickey's just dropped a fabulous single that just so happens to be our anthem to God TV. And we said, this is a perfect conversation to have with Nick Hogan and you, Ruben, as well, because we want to hear all about your new single, which is Nick Hogan versus Dawn Criminals. And it's called Test Drive. So tell us both, please chime in, Ruben, how it came about and, and what the fans can expect, because we're putting all of the description, uh, all of the links here for all the fans to go watch the music video and, of course, to download the single as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, that's exciting to hear also. Um, so Test Drive actually came, uh, Don Criminals are friends of mine. They're a, a group DJs, producers here that live in Vegas. I'm in Vegas in the lovely heat, as as are you over there in uh, where England, you said? Yes, shockingly. Yeah, so yeah. We just hang out, knew a lot of the same people, and we just said, hey, let's make a track together. So we, I had this track sitting in my computer that I had made, and I was just kind of like messing around with it, and then we made it together and then for the for the vote I was just kind of like had this thought in my head of like take it for a test drive something like that I, I don't know I just kind of like laid it out and then we ended up not um switching from it it was just kind of like an idea for like the cadence of whatever the vocal was going to be and then we ended up sticking with it and the track came out really cool so after that we all just like kind of brainstormed we had this idea for the music video and we're like you know wouldn't it be cool if these guys because they're you know all gangster looking and stuff you know i said one well, of these guys come into like a car dealership and i'm like like a dorky car salesman and you know they kind of come in and like they like kidnap me and they like are asking me to go on a test drive and i'm like you whatever and they just throw me in the car and they just take one of the cars and what's the then worst like, that can yeah, happen, and then we end up right? at a party and i'm like well fuck yeah i can do that yeah. <laughs> what's the party without katie forbes yeah <laughs> by the way it's a web cameo uh, for our wrestling friends She's yes. so 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 lit. That is that was so fun. She made that whole she's video. Awesome. Yeah, it was. She's awesome. Yeah. She's she's like she's so much fun everywhere she goes because it's like you know the, the personality is just so big also and it's just like right. she's just you know larger than life personality and like anywhere she goes it's just always like she's ready to go have a good time have fun so when we were shooting the video we had um some girls that you know they're friends of katie and my girlfriend and katie hang out all the time because they're neighbors of ours here in vegas and rob's always around and then they just showed up and it was like it was kind of like the missing puzzle piece of the video we had a lot of the cool lights and cars and the concept and all that and then when they came in it was just like it was you know like i said they matched the aesthetic of the video with the lights and the outfits and you know, all the girls were having fun getting together, getting dressed and all that cool shit. And it made it for like a really fun environment, especially being on the shoot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's one yeah. thing that we're not used to in this business. It's larger than life. And, and yeah. a little yeah. different. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'd funny. see you guys, you guys spend funny. a little bit of time around larger than life. Yeah. We're <laughs> such wallflowers here on Grown Ass Women TV. We should have called it wallflower tv yeah right <laughs> we can be wild when we want to and mickey i mean you obviously having just dropped your single and we've been talking to uh uh the band that she collaborated with this is this song would be right up your alley it's, it's a party oh my God. it's fun you know yeah well i i'm very interested i didn't realize you know until recently that you were doing music and i think that like just trying to get into that world has just been very interesting for me as an artist oh, yeah. and as a writer yeah. and a creator and finding these people, like when you're doing collaborations, so if you like 
using that energy between both of you guys right. to like create what this like vision is. Mm-hmm. So it's been a fun process for sure. What do you think are some of like your best or like the, the best things from it and like some of the hardest things from it? Um, you know, it's like the music stuff in general is interesting because, you know, around the time that I started DJing, it was, um, you know, I was spending a lot of time around dad and, you know, wrestling stuff as well. And I was, um, I how long ago was that, Nick? How long was, how, how long ago was that? Um, 13 years ago. Wow. Oh, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess it's been a while. We forget. So, yeah. I feel like yeah, the last time I saw you was Miss Rona impact. took like a couple years off our lives anyway. So at this yeah. point, I don't even know what year it friggin' is. It was, it was like the Thanos blip. Right. The, um, yeah, yeah, so uh, that, I don't know. I just, it was like, I was, I was really interested in music and stuff growing up. And then <clears throat> I was always kind of like bouncing between, you know, the, the sports stuff and the music. And, you know, I was going to Knox Pro and having fun and bouncing around and doing a little bit of training. And then it was just kind of at the time, the music stuff, um, the DJ stuff with the help of Ruben, you know, it really started taking off and Ruben had yeah. me on the road a lot, you know, for DJ gigs and stuff. And as that was happening, um, I guess it, it never slowed down, really. I never stopped, you know, but it, as that grew, I started getting deeper into production and I ended up going to a school in Los Angeles called Icon for uh, music production because I was able to produce. I was like self-taught and then I really wanted to know the engineering side of it and kind of learn to use the whole studio rather than just, right. you know, what I was able to do. So I went there and it just it just kind of really grew hand in hand and I I've had, you know, multiple projects, a lot of songs put out and a lot of different, you know, DJ gigs over the time of it and it feels like I'm just getting started, which is crazy, you know, cuz it's now like I said like 13 years in and it's like I feel like I'm just now figuring it out. Like I'm yeah. just and now. It's always like you, know, you always still still feel green, right, Nick? Like like yeah, as long as like you're still yeah, doing it I'm, long and long and longer. You're like going, God, I'm, I'm still a learning total a lot. Total fucking mark. Total fucking mark. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Ruben, I have to ask, how did the, how was the pandemic for you and, and and getting artists out there and stuff? Was that a rough one? I mean, it's still going on, I guess. It, it it was rough, and as it is right now, I had to move two shows today because of the variants. So I had uh, LaBouche booked in Hungary and now it's been moved to August of next year, as well as Germany has moved to, yes, August of next year. locking back down, everybody. Yeah, what's what's happening- Even here within the US. Yeah. Yeah, what's happening is that these groups that I book, I mean, we do shows in arenas that are 30, 40, 50,000 people. And so as these variants come in, the CDC and the and the governments they they cut things in half and a quarter and so the promoter can't make money when we have groups like uh, Jenny Bergen of Ace of Base and Labouche and the Matt Stuntman, et cetera, et cetera. So they need to be pushed I back. So Ace of Base was like you talk about music speaking oh. to you. I had I met them in oh, Canada. I die. I love them. I marked out. Set. Marked out. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. It doesn't take a lot. Like if I meet wrestlers, I don't really mark out so much. But when I meet somebody from my childhood, I'm like going, Oh, oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah, right? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> you melt in half. Yeah. I love them so much. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm over here marking out because he said Labouche twice. And I'm like, you don't understand. I love Labouche. <laughs> I was in a shoe store. And the woman in the video, for me, my, me, my lover, had this like, talk about vinyl. My kind of vinyl that I was attracted to was this vinyl cat suit. And I thought, I want to wear that one day when I can fill it out. And God bless it, I'm gonna do it. You guys have inspired. <laughs> Next episode, it's gonna be a Labouche themed episode. Why yeah, not? we need to have Lay McCray on the show. He's a surviving member of Labouche. I would love that. I would yeah. love wow. that. Wow. You know we had. Hey, Ruben. Ruben. Yeah. Ruben, I uh, you you remind me of a cousin of mine. Are are you Puerto Rican? I am half. I'm half Dominican, half Puerto Rican, born in the U.S. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm half yeah. Puerto Rican too. Waist down. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. Oh, no, but I think you remind right. me of a cousin. You remind me of a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, when I talk to you, you I, you sound exactly like my Bronx family in New York. So that's, that's why where I, I'm from the boogie down. Oh boy. The boy. Oh yeah. boy. Oh boy. Nick, yeah. you're just making you're just just matching us up with all this amazing I'm genres. Perfect. Happy to do it. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Okay, I'm, I'm too old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do okay, but when you because we, you know, 
when we started God TV, we knew social media would be a big part of it. And Mickey and Lisa have an insane amount of followers. I've always loved social media. I'm more of a Twitter, Instagram girl. But for both of you, we'll go to Nick first. And I want you to answer as well, Ruben. Um, how do you think social media has been for your career? Do you find it tedious? Do you find it that it's been really helpful? Do you find it harmful? How's it been for you guys? Um, for me, you know, social media seems to be a little bit more tedious for me because I'm not as much of like a phone guy. I'm kind of just like, I'm just kind of more doing my thing in the, you know, physical world. <laughs> and like, when I get my phone, I'm either like staring at it and I'm like on the couch and I'm like, I'll be like locked in it. And then when I'm off it, like, I don't want to look at it. So like, if I don't get like my social media, my posts or all my stuff done in that, like one hour or two that I'm being lazy and just like staring at my phone scrolling shit then I probably won't do it the rest of the day because it'll be like I'll set my phone down somewhere and I'll come back to it and then it's it'll be like three hours missed calls is that and it's like I don't I'm good about keeping my phone on me but for the social media upkeep it's seems to be more tedious but it's beneficial because it's it is crucial at this point now for getting content out and getting whatever you're working on out and luckily <clears throat> my girlfriend is a social media expert oh, and you know so she's yeah with with the um you know career she's got a tremendous following it's like a million on instagram and then twitter like you said you like twitter twitter is actually really hard to grow on and she's got this massive following on twitter too so she's really really good and she helps me out actually something i should have mentioned earlier we have a um a new show coming out on youtube in two weeks um or is it a week too I don't, I'll send you guys if I think it's 26 wow, yeah, so like five oh days yes yeah, it's like in five days but it's a show about her and I basically living here in Vegas and our six dogs and all this crazy shit going on oh here but six she's dogs, been like his mom really, yeah <laughs> I see, I, I, yeah but she's been really helpful like we gotta post stay on top of it blah blah, blah. but yeah about that show that's interesting it's it's the um, the first episode that's coming out is actually was the episode is about us shooting this music video. So they kind of Incredible. go hand in hand and yeah, Katie's in it and it's it's very cool. So yeah, it's cool. fun. And the dogs, you know, like you guys yeah. love dogs. So we our do six dogs, dogs, spoiled, rotten dogs. Did Rob Van Dam make an appearance on the, um, like I watched the video and I was, he's, I he's thought not, Katie, she stood out. He's like, no, oh, Katie. He's, <laughs> he's in the back. Yeah, he's <laughs> is, is, unless I missed him, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> in the corner, Val, Val, in the corner like this. <laughs> be amazing. Unless I miss, unless I missed him, I don't think he's in the video, but he's in the show. The uh, the show that's coming out, I think they got an interview bit with him about Katie coming to do the video and stuff. And he's yeah. so much fun. Like I'll just talk about Rob for a second because we had the release party for the video here, uh, like right here in our neighborhood, um, like a week ago. <laughs> and Rob and Katie came and everything and Rob is just so much fun because he's so laid back and so chill but you could go up and fuck with him about anything you could run up to him like this and like he doesn't care he's just <laughs> like he so it. cool yeah oh, he's just so cool. cool about everything yeah yeah I remember when I first met him I was like you know I'm, I'm such a wrestling fan and I just you never know how people are going to be you think are they going to be quiet are you going to have to kind of break the ice eventually such a nice dude and, and also it's very interesting how you when they think no one's looking how they treat fans and you're like wow Right. Your, your dad, for example, and, and it's funny, my, my yeah. brother-in-law always says, uh, and he's in the music business as well, so he's been around a lot of people like Bono, and he goes, the bigger the star, the nicer they are. And whenever I describe your dad, right. I say that. Because people yeah, go, oh, well, cool. he's got to, like, no, he's actually one of the nicest people ever. And with fans, it's so lovely. Rob's the same yeah. way, Kurt Angle. I love when, when someone that you're like, oh, wow, they're such a big star. How are they going to be? They're just over the top kind. Yeah. yeah, they always yeah, say, just... don't meet your hero, right? They say, don't meet your hero because they're going to disappoint yeah. you. They're going to be assholes, right? Yeah. yeah, luckily, I think I think dad breaks that stereotype for a lot of people, which is good. He does. I say this all the time. Yeah, totally. Totally. I don't know how. Oh, that's I, sweet. Thank I, you. I just live right up to it every time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on par. Fucking heel. <laughs> she's, she's trying it. She's trying to level it out, really. Just in case. When you guys were in TNA, like you were, you were still a little kid. You were uh, like, when I'm like, when we were, when I, when I was told we're going to interview you and I go, oh, he's young. so quiet. You were so young and like a teenager. And then yeah. I knew you from WWE days. Yeah. So you were like a little kid. And I'm like, he's yeah. really quiet kid. And then like, <laughs> when I, when I would see you, you and your dad at TNA, I would, of course I go, Hey, nice to see you. Where's Brooke? <laughs> she was my part, she was my party queen. That's why. Yeah, that sounds like Brooke. Yeah. 
she, she, she's a girl's girl too and that's what's so funny but it's yeah seeing kids backstage like my goodness we just talked about noelle foley we'd love to have her on the show as well and she's someone oh, yeah. who and 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 then my god we talked about kira hogan is doing music as well sorry um, you're all kids you guys were all kids yeah little yeah. kids kira oh. angle yeah, i was riding my skateboard around backstage i know yeah. you guys were so little kira angle we were just saying she's like still in her teens but she's hey, this, you know good morning this year what the hell happened Hi, baby hey, hey baby baby's awake Babe, they love your cassettes and, and all decorator, that. Decorator. The decorators and the decorators and the decorators. Yeah, the, we bought your three decor- pillows. Three she's, pillows. She's letting the dog we bought your yeah, three pillow pillows. <laughs> three orders are okay. coming through. She's joined us. Now there she is. She's stunning. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank Hello. You very much. Beautiful. Well, you know, let me see the back side. There's a back side on that it's pillow. It's the same. It's it's the same. She has two faces. See? What a, what oh, a I got the yeah, back side. Double sided. Coming in with the creep factor. Is there a back side to that pillow? <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, curious. I'm gonna get a new one with the back. I'm gonna have the photo taken of the front and back for a pillow. Yeah. yeah. For us. More lifelike. Oh my god. Much we better idea. Oh, we won't keep you forever though. I really really appreciate oh. you coming on. Yeah. yeah. Thank, well, thank you, so you guys for having me. This was a lot of fun. Um, we love you. We're very proud of you. Yeah. We're so oh. proud of you. It's very exciting. We're yeah, going to do so some great rapid to see fire you guys. questions. Can we yeah. take some got you. questions before we let you go? Yeah, let's do it. Like rapid fire questions? I love rapid fire questions. I'm terrible at them, so that's why I always have to ask because it takes me about 10 minutes to answer each one. <laughs> me Would you too. rather have me fingers too. for me toes too. or toes for fingers? Ew. <laughs> why is that one in there? Well, you have to give us I, your I, answer now. That's the best one I've ever heard. That's so yeah, I used to do. I, yeah, used to I, do think I think I'd rather yeah. have fingers for toes. See, I just what, what, I just stumped all of you guys on your own rapid fire questions. I, I can't get out totally. of totally. God, fingers for toes. Yeah, fingers for toes or oh. toes for fingers. Can you imagine like walking around and trying to pick up your fork? This and- is going on too far. Okay, sorry. okay. Can I show you this? Toes or like, fingers? Ooh. wait, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cover this because. Um, normally, I get paid for feet uh, oh pictures. My God. I stubbed my pinky toe at this hotel, and I was like, I was, I was boxing. I think, oh Ella, I was boxing, and I stubbed my go, mother fuck, oh, God damn it. and then my toe toenail turned black. It's gonna fall off. So when, oh, of course, wait. when you said toes for fingers, fingers for toes, I'm like, I stubbed my toe. That's the oh, first God. thing because it still hurts. Are we going to brush over the fact that you so, just said you get paid extra for your feet pictures? Because <laughs> remember, like every because <laughs> everyone <laughs> asks us about feet pictures, right? They all have this creepy foot fetish, and I'm not going to show mine never got until I'm like pictures, really yeah. until I'm she really really like, broke see, and I need it. I don't have a creepy. Gets she gets asked for feet pictures. People. I don't. It's not a guy she, thing. People Ladies buy her so socks. Like, yeah. Nick, why yeah, don't you just paint your that. toes and just be like, hey, uh, here hey. they are. <laughs> see what develops. My, you know, be like Kodak. My, my feet aren't the prettiest, so maybe. My neither. Oh, my God. Amazon. <laughs> I said when I'm, when I'm super broke, then I'll sell my feet pictures and there it's like, go. hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I'm super broke, I'm painting my toes and I'm selling toe Perfect. picks. Toe picks. <laughs> www.nicktogan.com. Nick Togan. Togan. <laughs> now that's funny. Wow. She's already seen the social media experts on. She goes, Oh, I'm going to get that domain. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. Oh, my God. How fun was that, ladies? He's a doll and a half. And a grown up. Who knew? He's a grown ass man. He's a gam. Yeah. He, very he's talented. A yeah. Um, Oh, it's disturbing. Was- it's disturbing. What just makes us feel like how these kids disturbing. that we met, all these kids that we met backstage, and they're like adults now. They're grown ass and they're grown ass folks now. They grown are. ass yeah. people. I'm so glad that you said we were proud of him because you know uh, we are very proud, and I, I'm glad we got to talk about his dad a little bit because everyone watching, most people I would say watch God TV uh, because they're wrestling fans, and how wonderful that he's doing so well and he's representing the family and just just killing it. Very proud of him. Killing it. Yeah, I'm very proud of him. It's very very exciting. So if you aren't following him, make sure you are following him. We're gonna put all of that down in the description below again with all the links and all the stuff. But we have to get going because you know what we have? We have a big after. What do we have? We have an after party to get here to top of the hour at Patreon. 
facebook.com backslash gall tv and we're gonna wrap up the show talk about all the things but don't forget guys again in the chat room hello we love you thank you for being here but comment below outside the video down below like the video comment subscribe tell your friends that bell bro brother brother wow, i'm begging you to get a bell remember that song <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, Lord in heaven. Oh, Lord in sweet heaven. Yeah. We'll see you guys here at the after party starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. All patrons are welcome. So right now, go to patreon.com slash TV. We'll see you there, guys. Pour a cocktail. The party is going on from here. Strap in. All are welcome. All are welcome. Do you remember that movie? This is the word. Go, yo, go, yo. yo.